Good morning, so I am going out on a walk today and I thought I would just bring the camera along because I'm taking myself on a different walk, a walk that I've never done before. Um, and I thought it's been a while since I did a vlog and um, what's wrong? The cat wants to come but she can't come on the walk, she's not allowed. Um, so I'm gonna go do that now and um, as I say, I was driving along and I saw this pathway up past um, I passed a river and I suddenly realised that I've never actually gone up there but it had like um, one of those um, signs, you know, the, the wooden signs that tell you that it's a public walk. Um, so I thought today might be the day that I would go and have a wander up there and um, just see what else we get up to during the day. Um, my cat is really desperate for some attention right now so I'm about to give her some love right now and then stop my walk. Hello. She's a huge meower. She really just follows you around the house. just meowing at you really loud. Mings! Has anyone else got a cat that purrs in anticipation? As soon as I come near this one, she just starts to purr in anticipation of all the strokes she's gonna get. Don't you? Yeah, you love the strokes. Yeah, yes you do. Go in, I'm here. Might as well. Come on, dogs. Here you go. Wow. This is interesting. Be an old fireplace, maybe. Amazing that that's still there. I wonder if that was a doorway that's been bricked up over the years. That really leads out onto the river. This is really big. Another old fireplace. sort of a chimney collapse at some point.
So I'm home now and I'm just going to settle down and read some of this. This is um, Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. I'm a little bit of the way through this. I'm currently reading three books, um, which I'm trying to get done before I move again, because I'm moving again in two weeks. This will be my second move of 2021, but hopefully I'll be staying put for a while after that. Um, I mean, ugh, it's just been crazy and it's been a lot more stressful than it needed to be. Um, I can't even get into what has gone gone on in the last couple of months. It's just been unreal. So I'm looking forward to just settling down, reading a little bit of a book before I start on with my chores again um, for the rest of the day. Because as I say, I'm moving in two weeks. So it's going to be going to be hectic. I can't wait until things calm down a little bit. Okay, so this is not some flattering lighting. Um, this is some very unflattering lighting. Um, Basically, I'm now cooking the tea, which is there. Um, and I just want to have a little bit of a mm, moment. Um, I bought, no, normally I make everything from scratch, but from, oh, uh, yep, that, that, that is my washing. That is my washing drying. Um, I normally make everything from scratch, but I decided that I would try, try a little stir fry kit from Aldi. And I got a beef um, hoisin stir fry situation. And um, I'm rather appalled. The, the, normally, well, I don't know. I, I would assume that because like there was two separate compartments, one for the beef and one for the vegetables, the beef and the vegetables. Um, there was like one separate portion for the beef and then there was another separate portion that had the vegetables in it and then sauce. Um, so I thought it was gonna be fine and I opened it up, but all of the like blood had come from the beef and into the vegetables. The vegetables were all like wet and juicy and like not with vitality, but with, like you know, blood of blood of cow. Um, and I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I felt a little bit a little bit disturbed by that. Is that a normal thing? Uh, like I say, I don't normally buy like stir fry kits or anything. I just thought I'd give it a try. But I mean, is that normal? Is should it be mixed like that? I'm really I'm not too. I'm not too sure on, 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 that, on that situation. Serve that up with a bit of fried rice that I've made and um, some mango and some cherries because, well, at least those ones aren't covered in blood. So we'll just we'll just see how this goes. Um, if we all get terrible food poisoning, I mean, I assume it's all right. If I die, you know what happened. Good morning, so I'm back. Last night, I was gonna fill you in on the beef situation. It ended up being um, really disgusting. Um, so it was just so wrong. Don't buy it. If you have bought it, just bin it, bin it, bin it. Um, so I'm just on a little walk out in the woods right now. So I know this isn't exactly technically one daily vlog. However, I'm just out on a walk in the woods now. It's morning time um, and so it sort of falls into the 24 hour category. So I'm going to say bye now and I'll insert a little bit of the woodland footage into the, in the end of the vlog for you all and I hope you're all keeping safe. I hope you've enjoyed this random little vlog that not a lot of interesting things have happened but as I said I am getting ready to move house and these little jaunts outside of the house are the only time away that I'm getting and the only time off I'm getting at the moment because it is um, quite the trip. Hello. Hello. Are you all right? I'm You never wanted to leave me. Yeah, okay. Good idea. Let's go. So obviously I'm out with my toddler. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna go finish my walk, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.